Right guys, welcome back to another brand new Ajax Project episode. And we've got another Champions League final. It's Barcelona again. So I'm not going to show you all the season. We've won everything um, again. The domestically, it's not very uh, very difficult. Um, we have got, obviously, Matthias De Ligt. Um, I wanted to bring him back, um, partly to be a mentor, but also partly because he deserves to win the Champions League with Ajax, I think. Or we deserve him to be in the squad. So I'd treat myself a little bit, right? He's fantastic anyway. Um, so yeah, we've won the league at a canter. Won a few, lost a few games this year actually. Not as, not the best performance. Uh, we did win the league by 13 points. So that's fine. Doesn't matter how you win it, right? 1 point, 20 points. It's fine. Um, we are going to the, t to the game with this team. Um, it's got... They're basically all homegrown players except Anthony. Well, obviously they signed for 20 million. Uh, Jay Gorty, the goalkeeper, is the only other one that's a little bit contentious. But they did sign him in 2021 when it will. So, yeah, maybe that's not a youth player either. So I think we're playing this with nine youth team players, right? Uh, Wrench, they all are, they all are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've benched Darami to try and get as many homegrown players as possible. But right now we've got nine. Um, I was going to play Berhut or the right wing for Anthony. It would have significantly weakened our squad, but I wanted to try and get as many in. And I could have played Ratsy over um, Gorta, but goalkeepers just don't improve quick enough. And I want to win this Champions League. So, I'll be back in a second at the start of the game because I'm going to do like opposition instructions and all that stuff and team talks. I want to get the video like as, as, as short as possible. So, I'll be back in a second. Right, guys, we are back. So, what I was going to say as well is we've lost the last two Champions Leagues, obviously, right? So, I'm playing the game at the start of the episode. And last, at the end of the episode, we're going to talk about the whole series. Um, what I could have done to be better. What you could do, maybe, to be better. Um, just basically findings of the uh, of the, of the experiment, really. Um, but, yeah, let's just play this game. We've, Like I said, we have lost the last two. <clears throat> I've been trying to buy Frankie de Jong as well, but he's not been interested. Um, Barcelona's team is ridiculous. I'm hoping that we don't consider early goal because we have done in the previous two Champions Leagues I think yeah, they're having all the possession again um, it, <laughs> it's really annoying when teams do this because they get all the possession and we're Ajax I know it's Barcelona we're playing against so it's probably the only team that does get more possession than Ajax I would say <clears throat> but I need it to be better than this there we go okay we might have the ball a little bit here delict <clears throat> what have you got for us Matthias yeah, that's poor from you, Gravenberch. Gravenberch hasn't been very good in the Champions League final. I wonder if his um, important matches stat isn't very high. I wonder if that's the case. He doesn't play well in the Champions League's uh, big games. Mm, we just lose the ball again. Yeah, we keep losing the ball. Giving the ball back three times there. I think this might be a goal, fortunately. Yep, Eric Garcia. <clears throat> I just don't think we're destined to win the Champions League, guys. Unfortunately. It doesn't seem that way. Goalkeeper there not being very good. Yeah, you shouldn't be scoring that, right? Seven finishing, no goals in the league. Or one goal this season. We shouldn't be letting Eric Garcia score from right back. I think I'm going to have to change formation again. Um, yeah, we just... Nah, this is not good. I think we do that. And that. It'll make Gravenberch run past the striker and hopefully he can get in the box because he's good at go uh, he's a really good goal scorer. It's just all Barcelona again. This is the third final where it's, we've not we've not deserved to win the last two to be honest. We've not deserved it at all. Mm. Yeah, they're getting cut open, absolutely cut to ribbons. Big half time. Big half time. Not good enough at all. Tight marking. I'm going to be really aggressive. Because that's the only thing I can think to do. That's going to make any sort of sense. Try and get a set piece. This is not working at all, is it? Let's be totally honest. Uh, False nine's not working either. Van Dongen's not working. Do we bring Darami on, maybe? Bring Darami on. 
Kudus as well. Bring Kudus on. Right. Let's hopefully. I feel like... Whenever I go more aggressive in FM, we seem to get more chances. Regardless of the team I play and regardless of the team that I'm using. And I think just the meta of FM is just be aggressive. Right? So, hopefully. A better press, though. A much better press. We're making them make mistakes, which, again, like I said, is better already. Play him in. Play him in. Anthony. See, that has to be a goal. Champions League finals, that has to be a goal, right? <clears throat> Anthony's a really good player, too. Yeah, that should be 1 1, but it's not. Let's see if we can keep going, because this is a really good start to the second half. Really good start. We've got more XG now. And a free kick at the edge of the box. Come on. Come on, bet. If you put this in, Graven, he has done. He has done. Scratch everything I've said about big game. Scratch everything I have said. 15 free kick taking, to be honest. And he has scored like 17 goals now this season. Um, the thing with Graven Birch is I don't think he's at full potential. And I will... Uh, and I, what, what I want to say is, is, I think the reason why he hasn't got to full potential, and I think the reason why some of the players hasn't got to full potential, is the league that we're playing in. I think if these, if I was playing with this exact same team and same players in the Premier League, Bundesliga, Spanish League, I think we would be uh, it would be better. The standard of football isn't as good um, in FM anyway. Obviously, in real life, some people might really love really love the Eredivisie. I've watched a few games this year and I find it quite good. Um, but on FM, in terms of that, like the the, the progression of the players uh, goes up in line with um, the standard of the league. So, like, if you're top three leagues in the game, I think your players progress quicker. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm, like, 99%. Can we score another goal here? Because we've really, 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 really turned it on. Go on, Dunyet. Go on, Dunyet. <gasps> that's how a homegrown youngster, a Nugent that came through from left back, smashed it in. 2-1. Wow. From right back all the way over to the left back. Via a deflection or a block, whatever you want to call it, but what a strike. You've got to be asking questions. Maybe you don't need to be asking questions of Testegan, actually. That's a fantastic finish. Fantastic. And we are deserving of this right now after the changes we made. So hopefully, we can keep going here. Don't give the ball away there, lads. The change to the 4-3-3 as well. I'd, yeah, we're really, really playing well. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Is he offside? Oh, that would be such a good goal to win it. Please award it. Please award it. I think he's off. Oh, yes. Come on. Let's go. I mean, yeah, no. He's miles on. Is John Stones? Yeah, John Stones there. Third this man back. I mean, he had to be the third this man back, to be honest, to mark that other guy, but... Yeah, I thought it was on. And then the ref the linesman at the bottom side of the pitch down here just stood still. So I was like, oh, sh shit. Shiz. Um, we're going to put... Oh, what should we do? Should we put Timber at right back? I think we should. And then we'll put Ertson centre back. Um, Kenneth Taylor is knackered. So is Graven Birch. So is Anthony. I think potentially we do this. I think we will do that, that. And then we put Brobby up front. Oh, we can. We can do that, Lewis, because that's too many substitutions. Okay, that's fine. We'll put on um, Ertson. Why do I think you could make five subs in the Champions League? But now, um, the, the, the the series is coming to an end with a Champions League in the bas in, in basket, in the cabinet. Basket? Why did I say basket? No idea. Anyway, in the cabinet. Um. Yeah, fantastic. I'm glad we won it. Third time lucky, right? The other two losses were uh, were tough, but deserved. We didn't deserve to win the others. We had a few good chances, but I'm really glad we managed to pick up a Champions League with basically one signing in uh, De Ligt. I don't think De Ligt's made the difference here. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely helped, of course. 7.0 in the finals, always good. Oh, wow, another one? No way. No. Oh, 
Anthony's on form. See, I find that with Anthony, right? The thing with him is if he starts badly, he'll play badly. If he scores early or he does something really good or he gets a good rating early, he'll fly and he'll just tear everyone apart. He's a, he's a mentality guy. But that's the Champions League one, guys. Like I said, it's the secondary, it's secondary to the... The whole series was about youth development, so this is sort of like a secondary achievement. But it's nice to do so knowing that we've done it with the players at the start of the game. Right, we've done it with... We start with Gorta, Timber, Wrench, um, Taylor, Daniette. We've literally moulded and sculpted from a central midfielder coming through at 15 to a Champions League scorer at left-back. Uh, Misa Hoy starts there, Anthony starts there, Gravenberg starts there, Van Dongen does, and Unovar. All the players start at Ajax, apart from at De Ligt. Um, Ertzen came on with a 7.1. I honestly, honestly believe we could have just not played De Ligt and put Ertzen on. The result would be exactly the same. But I wanted De Ligt to get Champions League with Ars uh, Arsenal, with Ajax. Um, but yeah, 3-1, there it is. What? Yeah, brilliant. Right, we're going to go now. Uh, I'm going to holiday forward slightly until um, the players that are out on loan come back. And we're going to look at... This is the last episode, so what we're going to look at is... I'm going to put the potentials on the screen so you guys can see how close we got to each player, right? And then we're going to discuss that. And um, things that I could have done better, because I definitely could have done. This is my first um, first experiment like this on FM. So, yeah, I'll be back in a second, guys. Right, guys, we are back. And I'm at 1st of July. So, what I wanted to do is get all the players back from on loan, like uh, Skender Kola and David Kaloka. They're all back from um, loans, right? Loads of players in the World Cup, basically, if we look at that real quick. Um, Holland are on their way to doing really well. Uh, they're in the quarterfinal against Spain, but they've, uh, they've beat Brazil. Not so much anything else. USA are decent, um, but we've got nine players in the uh, in this in the in the World Cup. Um, Daniel just got sent off, hence why he's not picked. But um, all the midfield is our team. We've even got both our goalkeepers there, but unfortunately, the both goalkeepers aren't number one. They have got Bijlo, who is at Leverkusen. Now I don't know if he's better than Jay Gorter, but the manager thinks so, and that's all that matters. Right. What I was saying in the first part of the video, I was saying, <coughs> apologies, I was saying. I just got a message speaking about the, uh, where is it, the leagues and where the leagues are in terms of, like, the club competitions. Is it club competitions? Do we want club competitions? No. Europe we want. Yeah, I think it is. This is it. Uh, we want, what do we want, Lewis? We want rankings. Rankings? No. I want the, that. That's what I want. Right, here we go. Right, the Eredivisie has just jumped up to sixth. Right? And has just jumped above Portugal. So we now enter the top... Just just, um, just below the top five leagues, right? You know, the main five leagues. Uh, we've just jumped above Portugal. So, that's just happened. I've literally just had a message saying that we've jumped up to sixth. Okay. I think that's because we won the Champions League, right? Right. And I was mentioning about Gravenberch, me not thinking he's at the top potential-wise because of the level he's playing at, he can only get so good, right? So let me show you those things. I've said those things. Let me show you what's just happened. So I got a message, first of all, saying he's jumped, we've just jumped up to sixth, right? And then I put the potential, uh, all the potentials on here. I searched by PA, right? So the highest PA was Delict, obviously. And then I looked at Gravenberch and saw what I thought. He's 14 points behind his PA. And then I clicked on him. Now watch this. Look at that. That is the first amount of growth I've seen in the game. And I think that is just because we've just gone up. I think if he was playing in the Premier League or in the top five leagues, um, this would be uh, like this already and more. If we go to his progress, and then I move myself, of myself up here and we look at his progress bar he has gone up in three free kicks and three penalties but we already knew he'd gone up in in those things right after the last time but if we go last 12 months he's gone up in leadership free kicks i think he's gone up in free kicks because of that free kick in the final so that sometimes happens too you guys might not notice that um but fm said age ugh, must have been five six seven, maybe longer fms ago now 
there was sort of some things, and I can't remember what they called them, but I'm going to call them match match incident improvements. Right, that's not what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it. So, if someone does a really good free kick, or a really good cross, or a really good finish, or a really good tackle, then what can happen is individuals start, like tackling, free kicks, etc., can just shoot up by one, right? Because they've just done something amazing in game. It can just go bang up by one straight away. It's quite rare, but I think that's just happened with Graven Birch's free kicks. I could be wrong. I don't. In fact, I don't think it has. I don't think it has because it would it would have gone straight up in the last month. So no, I don't think it has. I think it's just. I think it's literally just um, coincidence. Um, but yeah, everything's going up for the first time. Really, that I've noticed um, is becoming like an elite, elite player. So less of Graven Birch, more of everything else. Right, Unovar is the same. His potential is 170, which is massive. He's at 154, which is fantastic. Very good. He's worth 70 million. He's a very good player. But he can get better. Now, if I sold him to, again, to say it again, if I sold him to a top five league and they did really well with him, like I played him a lot, then I think he'd just fly up again. So I think we are hamstrung a little bit. We are restricted slightly by the league we're in. So maybe if we do this again at some point, maybe next FM, um, maybe we do this again, the youth development, but we do it with a different team. Now, I don't know what teams we could do it with. If you guys can think of any, let me know. Off the top of my head, I can think of maybe Barcelona. They've got a good academy, good young players. Potentially Barcelona. I wouldn't need to sign anyone. Like with Fatty and Gavi, Pedri. I think that would be next FM if I did that. But I'm trying to think um, if we can do it. But um, Daniette. So Daniette came through and he's got 169 potential, which is massive. Um, we've got him to 154, which is brilliant. He's only 20, right? He's He's only, he's only like six months into being 20, so he's 20 and a half. <laughs> he's fantastic. He's the Dutch left back. Um, he's a massive success story of this save. Came through as a as a, as a centre midfielder and we retrained him. And he's been brilliant, as you just saw that goal um, in the final. Last 12 months, he's not really done much um, in terms of progression. But again, I think they get to a certain point and they hit a wall because of the league they're in. But if we go to the all-time, he's just flown. Marking's going to buy six. Positioning going up by six. Things have gone up by four, four, four. Balance has gone down two, which is weird. Stamina has gone up three, which is mad, for, massive for a left back. Um, and yeah, just brilliant player, right? Decisions up by two, really, really good. He's been fantastic, and he's like just a nailed down left back for club and country now. Um, yeah, Van der Gaard came through last, last, uh, last intake. Played him a few times. We played him in thirteen games. He scored four goals. Uh, yeah, if I carried on this, he's only 16. If I carried on this, he would be one of the best strikers in the world. Um, Anthony, we've not really touched him on. He's always been to full potential. Skender Kola came through as a new gen as well, 164. He didn't really get into the first team because centre back was being one of my highest, uh, best areas. Um, we have loaned him out to Re uh, Rhyme. Is it Reem? Rhyme? He's played 30 games. Last year, he played uh, second half of the season for Bochum and he also went on loan to Grafschap. Again, only 19. Worth 20 million, nine caps for Kosovo, a really good spot. Um, got a lot to grow. And I would probably start playing him now in the Ajax team. Um, I would probably sell like Anthony. I'd probably now at this point sell the top players um, that aren't homegrown. So I'd sell Anthony. I'd probably sell Darami when we get to him. Um, and then bring these youngsters up. Janus Berg, um, I've not been able to do much with him. He's a weird one. He had a really long injury. He's clearly got good potential, but we're stacked in central midfield as well. He's been out. Uh, he's been sorry. He's not been out alone. He's been playing in the um, second team, the second division, and it's not been enough for him. But the thing is, right, Ajax have so many good young players. It's impossible to get them all in. It's absolutely impossible. It really, really is. Uh, David Coloca, one four four out of one six two. That's a good one. Um, I was falling behind on him, especially as he's only got a balanced personality, which is tough to improve sometimes. He's just he's either footed, he's just been out on loan in the Bundesliga. Next year he this would have been his breakout season for me. He would be playing every single game. And no doubt after the end of the next season, he would be worth 60, 70 million. But yeah, another one that Ajax signed when there was like 15, 14. Um Kenneth Taylor, obviously a real life player. Um we've literally maxed out his potential. He's worth now worth 99 million. Um and he's basically a starter in the Dutch team every single match. He's got nine goals for us, which is really good for a DM. And he's just an all-round really good player. Um, who else we got? We have Silvano Voss. I failed on Silvano Voss. I'm not going to lie to you. I failed. 
I fully failed on boss. And the, I think the reason why is what what I played t kind of Taylor that much. I think the I think my problem was at the start I bought Xavi Simons when I probably shouldn't have. I wouldn't have done that again, um, just because he's not homegrown and I sort of did it for a bit of extra depth. But I didn't need it. And in the first couple of, first couple of seasons, as you can see there, I played him 28 games. That could have been Silvano Voss's um, game time. And who knows where he would be now? I think I could still rescue him. I do. I could just play him in the meaningless games in Eredivisie against teams at the bottom. I have no doubt I could get him to 140, 150. But in terms of the five-year experiment that we've done in this save, yeah, that's a failure on my behalf, I think. Definitely. Uh, he's 21. He should be further along. But like I said, I could rescue it. I could. I could get him to 140. I could get him to a really, really good player. Um, But I've sort of neglected him a little bit, which is my fault. We have sorted his potential. Uh, his personality out as well from balance to fail determined which is good uh timber timber again is eight points off full potential i think again is another player that if we sold him to man united or city or chelsea Barcelona, whatever anyone in the premier league um he would fly again but he's been really good for us he's played every single season most games um yeah he's been brilliant speck schneider i'm 22 points off him on the looks of it it looks like a failure it's not a failure. He had a really long injury. Uh, well, it's, in fact, he didn't have a really long injury. So where is it? Four months. It was at the it was the point of the season it was in. It was in November, and it basically just chopped out his whole season. Um, and he's coming back from that, right? He's coming back from that. If I just show you this this screen here, if you look at that, he has grown a lot, a lot, but really a lot, especially physically. Wow, look at all that. Four, 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 three. Four there, four there. Like, I think we could get, again, I think he could be a special player. Um, But I think I'd have to go like a narrow formation to get him in. We've got so many midfielders. I think what I would do is I would sell Kudos this season if I carried this experiment on. And I would put um, Misa Hoy into Kudos' position. And then I would put Speck Schneider into Misa Hoy's position as backup. But plays, yeah, I, I didn't play him enough games this season. But, but I, I could definitely... He's only 21, let's be honest. Like They don't stop growing until they're 23. Two more seasons with him as a starter. And he would be one of the best midfielders on the game. So it's not a problem. Van Dongen's been a very big success story. Again, eight points off his potential. is really, really good. 17 dribbling, 16 first touch. I'm going to put you on this page because you guys can see it better. Um, since the start of the game, he has... Uh, he's got five in dribbling, four in first touch, four in technique, five anticipation. All things good for a winger. Even his physicals have gone up, right? Um, and he's still only 21, again. Um, not much to grow into, but again, I think that's because of the league we're in. He has got a cap for the Holland national team. He's sort of on the verge. Now, the only reason he doesn't get in is because they play narrow formation. And De Van Dongen's a winger. I think if they played a 4-3-3, like the Dutch team usually do, or a 4-2-3-1, he'd be in there, no problem. But they don't have wingers in their team. Even Boadou, who looks like a winger, is a striker and Kelvin Steng, Calvin Stengs, who's a winger, he's playing, he can play as a central midfielder, centre attacking midfielder. So maybe if I played him as a central attacking midfielder for Ajax, maybe change formation to a 4 2 3 1 next year and I played him there, I think he'd get called up into the team. Um, Misa Hoy again, this is a big success story, like Van Dongen and uh, Adoniet and um, Onovar. This is a really good one, Misa Hoy. He's been brilliant. He's a wonder kid. He's only 20. He's worth 40 million. He's got nine caps for the Holland national team. Uh, played 45 games in total. Um, 28 starts in all competitions. Just brilliant. Like, really, really good. And he definitely lets us down. His anticipation is going up by seven. His agility by five. His balance by five. His stamina by five. Off the ball by five. Like, these are really big gains. Uh, it's just game time, guys. It's game time and realising what attributes that they need work in and remembering to change it that's the big thing remembering to change it so your players become better all-rounders rather than really good in that attribute but really bad in that attribute like you have to sort of like mold them so they're 14s and 15s everywhere rather than 19s and then 10s like you want them to be really rounded players so they can do a multitude of roles jobs for you um Berhout, i've s i think i could rescue him again he's a bit He's a bit like Voss. I've failed slightly with him. Um, he's played a lot of games this year. His personality was a problem at the start. It was a problem. It was balanced and he wasn't moving at all. We've got it to fairly ambitious. 
and I think one full season of playing every single game and he would turn into a really good player. But I've not done enough with him. Now, he's gone up a lot, off the ball up by five, composure by four. Now, if you look at that, it looks like actually I've done a really good job. And I think I have, but I could have done better. You can always do better, right? Um, he's got 21, 24 points left in his potential. I, yeah, I think I could get him to that by the time he's 23, 24. But he's just turned 22, to be honest. But yeah, he's one I've not failed, but I could have done better. Darumi. Now, yeah, we're going to show Darumi. <clears throat> I would sell him now if I carried this on. He's been brilliant, but he's not homegrown, so he was always on the way out. <clears throat> he's gone up slightly. He's not gone up amazingly, um, but he's gone up slightly in ones and twos. Uh, Kian Fitzjim. I failed with him. Uh, 22 years old, fairly determined. I, I failed with him. I I think I could sort that again, but it but it would uh, it would make it would mean that I would have to loan him out somewhere. He's done really well um, in terms of development at Augsburg. He didn't play well because I think they got yeah they got relegated last year. So in the Bundesliga they got relegated. But this year he's been like one of the best players in the second division. Um, I should have probably loaned him out, but I couldn't find any takers for him. Now Nuremberg and Sampdoria want him. I think Sampdoria, Serie A, and Nuremberg. Bundesliga. Yeah, I think I would send him to Nuremberg uh, because the German teams have got really good facilities. Excellent. Yeah, I would send him there and watch him. He'd just blow up, I think. So, yeah, I have failed, but I think I could, again, I think I could save him. Uh, Calvin Ratzi is in the Dutch national team, but he doesn't look amazing, right? If you look at him, he doesn't look that good, <clears throat> but he plays really well. Um, <clears throat> two caps for the national team. And he has gone up a fair bit, especially on the goalkeeper uh, technical stats. Um, I could get more out of him. I'm, I'm genuinely certain I could do that. <clears throat> but, yeah. I think I would make him the number one next year and uh, and watch him grow. Divine Wrench. Divine Wrench. I'm just going to have a drink, guys, because my throat's out. <clears throat> right. Right, there we go. I think. <clears throat> yeah. So, Divine Wrench. We've got him to within six points of his potential. Chelsea won in Bayern Munich, Milan, all those top teams. <clears throat> He's worth 30 million now. We can play across the back four. I could play in DM. His progress, again, I've not really looked at it too much. He's not done that well. He's gone up one in dribbling. Even though it's not like 1.0, he's, oh, he's gone up like by 0 0.7, 0 0.6. His heading's gone up two, it was nine. A long shots has gone up, it was five. So even though it doesn't say like a plus one next to it, he has gone up. Like his marking was 12, now it's 13. So he's gone up by one in everything. Anticipation started at 11. Concentration started at 11, yeah. Vision started at 12. If you look at that, it started at 12 and now it's 14, but it only says one. So he must have only gone up by like 1.4 because it doesn't show it as a two. So yeah, it's a bit misleading. You have to look into it a little bit more. That's a tip you guys can use. Um, Masrui is going to Liverpool literally in a couple of hours. But he was never on the agenda. Um, Oliver Etson, he's been brilliant. Um, really, really good. He just missed out on the Dutch national team, unfortunately. <clears throat> he's only how old? 21. Yeah, how close was he to his potential? Seven points. Yeah, really close to his potential. He's gone up a lot. Like a, a lot, a lot. Uh, technicals could have done a little bit better, but I just couldn't get them to move. They just would not move. But his mentals and his physicals have flown up. Um yeah, I think we could get... We, that's a really big success story for us. Um, Idumbo Mazambo. Now, I've rectified him. I was failing to start with, but I've got him back on track. Um, and I think the reason for that is is I loaned him to Germany. He had a really good um, season in terms of appearances for Werder Bremen. Now, they didn't do very well. and He didn't do that well, <coughs> being, one, <coughs> being one of the weaker teams in Germany um, in this save, it seems. But he has got two caps for Belgium. So, I don't know what I'd do with him. Maybe when I sell Darami, I'd play him as a left winger. Maybe. He's very Darami esque, right? Um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a success story, I would say. Because we're getting now to the players that aren't as good. Uh, Brandes, I failed him. But I couldn't get him in. I just couldn't get him in. Now, he's still worth 7 million and I could make a profit. So, it depends what you want, right? You can't make everyone into first team players because there's only 11 spots. Um, Jay Gorta, he's a big success story, the goalkeeper. He, I can't remember how he started. Um, 
but he's become a really good player. Um, he's wanted to leave a few times too, actually. But he's an Ajax fan, which is weird that he wanted to leave. He's got three caps for the national team, and he has improved quite a lot. Not a massive amount because he was already quite good at the start, but he's 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 become a goalkeeper, especially with the one-on-ones for. He's become a clutch goalkeeper in big moments for me, I've noticed. Um, Brian Brobby, up to eight points of his potential. That's a good success story, but I don't think his potential was that high in the first place. It's probably the highest we could get him. Seven caps for the Dutch national team again. Um, so we have, we've, we've, Yanni, Yanni Martha, I've failed on him. I just couldn't get him in with the multitude of wingers we got. Um, I could have done better, but I couldn't get him in. Charlie Setford, again, couldn't get him in, but he's a goalkeeper, so I think I could loan him out. Um, and, and he does look good, actually. I think I could loan him out, but I, yeah, I maybe could have done better. But there's one goalkeeper, right? There's one goalkeeper. It's hard. Um, Milovanovic, I've done all right with Milovanovic. He was never going to be a first team player, but he's very well rounded. Um, and he's out of contract in a year, so his value is really low. But I have loaned him out a fair few times to uh, to teams in the second division and then in the first division, the Eredivisie. And he's, yeah, he's just a good, solid player. Um, he's better than what we had when we had him, right? Same with Churak. They were never going to get into the first team with like Timber and Ertzen and um, all those guys. But I've got them to almost as high as they can be um, and they're not good enough. So that's, I can't help that, right? Um, and then these guys at the bottom, we, they just weren't they just weren't getting any better. Um, Yepa, Yepa Kier, uh, we I've rescued him by sending him on loan to Nantes. And he had a good season. Um, so a lot of assists as well, 10 assists. I saved him slightly there. Um, he was looking to be like quite a disappointment, but then now he's only seven points off his potential. Um, Prince Anning, once once this guy came through, Daniette, once he came through, where is he? At left back. He just blew uh, Prince Anning out of the water. He just blew him and I couldn't do anything about it. I just said he blew him. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that happened. Um, Tristan Gouye. He's a right back. Again, I've got a wrench. I had Masri. I had Timber to play right back. I just couldn't get him in. And there's always going to be casualties. He's not... I mean, he's, I don't think he's going to get too much better anyway. And then Alvaro Henry, as you can see, 138 potential. If you look at Alvaro Henry, it looks like we've failed on him. And we sort of have. But let's just say, for example... As the last player we're going to look at. As the last player, let's just say he got to full potential. He was 138. That would put him slightly, slightly better than Shurak, right? Nasef Shurak. And he's not making it into the squad. So even if I would have got him to full potential, he wouldn't have made it into the team, unfortunately. Um, if we look at the B team. Um, who else is here that we've not looked at? No one really. No. Under 18s, these guys are like still young. Um but yeah, potential-wise, we've got some good players. Uh, 154 upwards there. Really big players. Really in, um, intakes. Ahmad Mohamed. Uh, Jordi Copier, Danny Stute. Peter Sanders. I think Peter Sanders has got a second nationality. I could be wrong. No, he hasn't. And then Piet Dilg Dijkgraaf. Dijkgraaf. He's probably the best one. Yeah, these guys are all like the new age players. Wanted by Juventus and uh, AC Milan, that guy. But yeah, all in all, I think he's been a success. I would give myself probably a 7.5. Getting to two Champions League finals and then winning a Champions League. So three Champions League finals. Um, every single area to busy, every single... I know that's quite easy, but we did it anyway. Um, a lot of players to come through. I think I would give myself a 7.5. I think I could have done better. Um, but yeah, we will do this sort of experiment next FM. But I wanted to do it myself because I'm improving whilst I'm doing it as well. I'm no, I'm by no means saying to you guys, like, I'm the expert. Listen to me. I'm just saying this is what works for me. This is what I could do better. Then you guys could be like, oh, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. And you can just pick little parts from the from the series. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Um, this is the end of the series. Um, if you've got any ideas for anything else you want to see on the channel, it could be anything, literally anything, uh, let me know. Because more, like the more ideas, the better. Um, hit the subscribe button, please, if you haven't already, and hit the like button. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Goodbye.